In this lesson, we're going to look at work done. We're going to focus on investigating what this work is, solve some problems, and do some force versus displacement graphs. So, first of all, work is simply a measure of how much energy you've used. If you want to move something, you will use energy to do it. That is the work that you're going to do. If you use more force, you will do more work. If you can move it further, you've, of course, done more work. So it involves the force and the displacement it moves in. Quick example. Are the following pictures examples of work done? She is pulling this to the right, and it's, of course, moving to the right. In this case, she is doing work by pulling this. She's moving this away. What about this one? He's lifting it up. Fine, he's holding it. He's not moving it anywhere. He's holding it, but he's walking this way towards the camera. You'll find that because he's walking this way, no matter how much he tries to pull it up, he is not doing any work in the horizontal direction. There's no work done. He is just simply holding it in place. He's moving, but he's holding this in place. That leads us on to our next point. Examples of whether there'll be work done or not, whether it'll be positive or negative. Motion and force in the same direction, then yes, work will be done. It'll be positive. Motion is opposite to the force. Yes, work will be done. It'll be negative, positive, negative. In this case, there is a horizontal component going to the right. So if there was an angle, remember, we would do cos theta. If you do uh, W equals FD cos theta, you'd add a little cos of the angle to it. So that means, yes, work is done and it is positive. This is going in the opposite direction, so work will be done. It will be negative. Over here, there's a motion but no force, so that means no work. There is a force, but it's not moving, no work. Perpendicular, up and down, will never affect the horizontal. They are independent of each other, so that means also no work. All right, so that leads us to our formula here. So we've got the EW, or simply W, equals FD. If there was an angle, we'll just add cos theta at the end. Horizontal component, there we go, cos theta. It's a dot product, so if you multiply them, you get cos. But anyway, that's not important right now. It is FD or FD cos theta. The unit is in joules, so work done is kind of like energy. It's a scalar quantity, so you do not really need to worry about the direction and the negatives and stuff. But it can be only important if we have work going in one direction and something going in the opposite direction. Then you would have to, like, for example, subtract them. We'll deal with that soon. So work done, similar to energy. A boy finds he has to use a force of 50 newtons to lift a box two meters onto a shelf. What is the work done? Well, we can use a formula EW equals FD. There is no angle, so we'll just do 50 multiplied by two, and you'll get 100 joules. So you did 100 joules of energy. Then we're moving on to some displacement graphs. If they give you a graph, you can find the work done. You can find the energy used. You will just find the area under a graph. If, of course, you have a, a rectangle or a square, well, this is easy. Multiply the two sides together. Force times distance. Same thing as we did before, because that equals FD. Amazing. So that'll be, in this case, base times the height. For here, it's a triangle, so it's going to be half of that. So a half of the base times the height will give me that, okay? So base times height, a half base times height. That's from math. You would have done this before in math as well. So an example here, we have a little graph that looks like this. I can see that there are two shapes in the graph. I can break it up into two different shapes. I will have the red and the green. So base times height plus a half base times height. So this is up to 5 multiplied by 5 plus a half, starting from here to here, between 5 and 10, this is also 5, this is also 5, a half times 5 times 5. Don't say 10, you will use 5, because the green shape starts here and finishes here. And then you add the two numbers together, and you should get 37.5 joules. That's the work done. So here was an example. Uh, no Jude raises a two kilogram box. The displacement is four. We're going to slow a bio. Very nice. What is the work done by the gravitational force? So W equals mg. Why? Well, because this is mass. Mass is not good. 
So I can just do W equals mg and turn it into a force because work done is force times distance. I calculate weight, which is a force. 2 times actually negative 9.8 will give me minus 19.6. So work done will be minus 19.6 times 4, minus 78.4. So this is the F times the D. If I wanted to work done by no joules, she is pushing it up. So it'll be the positive. Force times distance, same thing. She's taking the same block, the 2 kilogram block, 19.6, multiplied by the distance, which we already know is one, uh, 4 meters. This is 4 meters. And then I'll multiply the two and you'll get positive 78.4. The number is exactly the same. One of them is negative, one of them is positive. So then you can go ahead and say the net work done would be zero. Because to get the net, the total work, you add all the works in all the different directions. You add them all up. In this case, we only have two up and down. We will subtract them in this case. Why? Because they are in the opposite direction. It takes us back to adding vectors lesson. So like we said, gravity was minus 78, the work done was plus 78, the net work overall will end up being zero. Adding, subtracting will all become zero. So, quick plenary. Force, displacement. Work done, yes or no? Yes it is, and it will be positive. So it is work done, and it will be positive. Opposite directions, yes, it will be done, but it will be negative. This is perpendicular, no work will be done. There is no force, or in this case actually there is no displacement, no work, no force, no work. Even if it was an angle, but it had to be a force for there to be something, but no. That's the end of that. Nice and easy.